questions? No, wide open. Yeah. Question one. You say both currently holds the men's 100 metres world record with a time of 9.58 seconds. Whose record did he break in 2008? Steve Kidd. Gatlin. No. Ask for power. Chris Kidd. Yes. 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 Two points. Chris. Number two. Which part of the British Isles were known to the Romans as Mona? Steve Kidd. The Scottish Islands. No. No, Simon? Anglesey. Yes. Two points, Simon. <laughs> Number three. This politician's effort to stamp out corruption in his first elected office led to the nickname the Veto Mayor. And he was elected president despite fathering Maria Halpin's illegitimate child. This man was without a vice president for much of his first term after Thomas Hendricks' death. This first Democrat to be elected president after the American Civil War lost the support of organised labour after using federal troops to break a strike at the Pullman Works and was repudiated at the following Democratic Convention after William Jennings Bryan's attack on his support for the gold standard. Nick? Sam? McKinley. Not McKinley, no. Simon, is that lose a point? Yes. Yeah. Lose a point, Sam. Grover Cleveland. Big. Simon, two oh, points. It was working at all. I'm, I'm at 42 seconds, is that the longest question we have? <laughs> name, name this US president who shares his surname with the city of the Lake Erie and um, was a unique case of non consecutive spells of this one. Um, I'm not sure. Number four. In 1945, Ho Chi Minh declared Vietnam's independence from which country? Michael, France. Yes. Mark Cavendish recently finished runner up in the 2006. Clive. Clive. Big Sagan. Yes. <coughs> Name the band. It was formed in Stalbridge in 1986. It had 13 top 40 singles between 1988 and 2004. Its debut charting album was the Eight Legged Groove Machine in 1988, and its last charting album, 30 Goes Around the Sun, in 2016. Their only number one single in 1991 was a collaboration. Fine stuff. Yeah, with Vic Reeves. Yeah, <laughs> Tony would have been in it. No, I'd have been in, in an animal session. Um, number eight. What is the name of the most northerly province in the Netherlands? It is also the name of the capital and largest city within the province. Simon. Running. Yes. Oh. Number nine. Which cricketer recently made a test appearance for England at the age of 39? Simon. Gareth Batty. Yes. Yeah. 11 years after his last test appearance. Number 10. Which combatant nation in World War I is estimated to have suffered the highest percentage mortality rate? Military and civilian... Five. Serbia. Yes. Oh, good answer. Oh, oh good answer. <laughs> Military and civilian casualties total 1.2 million or 29% of the total population. Number 11. In August 2016, Oliver Burke became the most expensive Scottish footballer. Fraser. Bruce Dortmund. No. That was point. Yeah. Fraser was a point. Uh, Smite. Leipzig, Red Bull Leipzig. Red Bull Leipzig, yeah. Oh, when he left up in Paris for which country? For its team. That's a crappy answer. Number 12. What is the name of the UKIP MEP who was left hospital? Sam. Yeah, just so I had to just what I was thinking with the question. Number 14. This composer wrote incidental music for Shakespeare's The Tempest as his graduation piece from Leipzig, Leipzig Conservatory. His symphony in E was inspired by a holiday in Ireland. He wrote an overture on the death of his... Sam. No. Lose a point, Sam. Point. He wrote an overture on the death of his father in memoriam and was inspired by the death of his brother Frederick to write the song The Lost Chord. This composer... Five. Arthur Sullivan. Arthur Sullivan, yeah. Two point point. And he's good Charlie too from last question. Going on to the thing and also the fact that he wrote um, Ivanhoe for the Wolf Scott novel and Onward Christian Soldiers. 
Right, number 15, Dame Sarah Starby won her 14th Olympic gold at the Rio Paralympics, making her the most successful female British Paralympian. At which Olympics, year or venue, did she win her first Paralympic gold? Steve, Steve, 88. No. Questions for Chris. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 17. This long running band evolved in North London out of the Ethnic Shuffle Band and played its first concert in a church hall in 1967. Named after the residence of one of its members, it changed its lineup after the first concert, setting a trend that would see an altered lineup on each of its first seven albums and no original members left by its ninth. Originally disbanded in 1979, it reformed in 1985 and continues to this day, hosting a successful annual festival in Oxfordshire. Steve, fair part. Yeah. Uh, I've been there. I thought I'd do it to see you. Oh. <laughs> Number 18. In Greek mythology, which river of Hades is the river of fire? Fraser. Sticks. Yeah. No, one more. Simon. Erebus. No. Michael. Lemnos. No. Sam. Yeah. Give the answer. Hit us. Phlegophon. Uh, only one I could remember. 19. The state, sorry, the capital of the US state of Delaware is Dover. Steve! Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, no. <laughs> However, what is the largest city in the state? Sam. Five. Five. Manchester. Yeah. Oh, Simon. Portsmouth. <laughs> Michael. Hartford. <laughs> Fraser. Lincoln. No. Nope. Leaving Chris. No. Nope. Wilmington. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Fairly reasonable. I knew it wasn't over when I was The final one. Number 20. Whilst at, Ariz whilst at Arizona State, this golfer beat Tiger Woods record score in becoming the only man to win three successive Pac-10 championships and he twice won the English Amateur Championship. Successes as a pro include a record 10 and 8 win over Shawn Michael in the World Match Play in 2006, the year he topped the European Order of Merit. In his second Ryder Cup at the K Cup, he became... Michael. Rose? No. Minus one. Sorry, I'm taking that out of the English. Uh, Fraser. Luke Donald. No, in his second Ryder Cup at the K Club, he became the only man to win a foursomes with a hole in one. Injuries and loss of form have seen a dramatic decline since he peaked at third in the world rankings in 2009. Who won England's only WGC World Cup in partnership with Luke Donald? Uh, Chris. Oh, and me. And, yeah, same time. Same. Okay. Oh, Casey. Casey's there. Yeah. Casey, yeah, two points for Chris. Yeah, and that's that. But it's finished the question, so we're done. Yeah, finished the question, that's it. Yeah, we're done. Ready? Yeah. What is the name of a wine punch that traditionally consists of red wine and chopped fruit, often with other ingredients such as orange juice or brandy? Steve. Sangria. Yes. <laughs> do you want to have to read that for you then? Sorry? You, do you want to read that yeah. I'll read him if you want. Yeah, go on. 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 Hey, it's a uh, kick. Keep it there. Uh, um, oh, yeah. If you oh, just move your mouth. Hang on. Yeah, sit there. That's great. Yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, it was getting worse. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, second by second. I'll try and project. Can you all hear me? <coughs> yeah. You're right. Born in Coleraine in County Londonderry in 1740, this man emigrated to North America in 1746. Opening a haberdashery and tailoring business, he served British officers and passed along information he learned to the Revolutionary Army. He was recommended to Washington by I Sam. Oh. No. Lose a point, Sam. 
Recommended to Washington by Alexander Hamilton and is currently a main character in the Broadway musical based on the latter man's life. Steve. Hancock. No, oh, Hancock. Is that right? No? Fraser. Is he me? Yeah. Um, Brigham Young. He's not Brigham Young. Michael. Hill. Simon. Aaron Burr. No. Clive. I think it's me. Say it, Alexander Hamilton. He said that. Um, this is so annoying because I know you're the closest. Not even been to the West End yet. Come on. Two, two, one. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hercules Mulligan. Mulligan, of course. Mulligan. Mulligan. Okay, question three. Born in Marseille in 1868, this neo-romantic poet and dramatist studied at the college, college Stanislas in Paris. One early play, Les Romanesque, was adapted in 1960 as The Fantastics, running on Broadway for 42 years. His last great work looks at the life of Napoleon II, from his birth to his deathbed, and was first performed in 1900. However, his more fam most famous work was published in 1897 and tells the story of Serrano de Bergerac. Sam. Rostam. Question 4. Named for a castle in Germany, this 1800s novel was originally described by Quarterly Review as a tissue of horrible and disgusting absurdity. Published in three volumes. Steve, gone gas. Not gone gas. Oh, in three bloody volumes. It has a foreword written for it by Percy Bysshe Shelley. Clive. Frankenstein. Frankenstein 2.5. Question 5. Yes. This TV series was a subject of controversy in 1991 when it was beaten to the BAFTA for Best Drama Serial by Prime Suspect. Despite four of the seven judges publicly stating they had voted for it, it was written by Alan Bleasdale and Stan. Fraser, three way tie, Fraser, Sam, and Chris. Three way tie, spot on. Boys from the Black Stuff. Oh, no, the Black Stuff. Boys from the Black Stuff. No. I'll lose a point. So Fraser was live. GBH. GBH. Yeah. yeah. Robert Lindsay. Sam. Chris. Two. 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 Good question. What's that? Press. Question six. The flag of this island nation was adopted in 1973 to replace the British blue ensign. Defaced with the emblem. Chris. Cyprus. No. Lose a point. Emblem used when it was a crown colony. This consisted of a British ship chasing two pirate ships out at the high seas and the motto Expulsis Piratis Restituta Commercia. Pirates expelled, commerce restored. It now consists of a black triangle situated at the hoist with three horizontal aquamarines. Simon. Jamaica. No. Lose a point, so. Simon. Fraser. Uh, Fraser. Tobago. Not Tobago. Lose a point, Fraser. Three horizontal aquamarine yellow and aquamarine bands. The capital is Nassau. Yeah. Sam. I don't know. I could just see where that would go in as soon as he got to there, it would go mental. Right, question seven. <coughs> this 1970 American epic biographical war film stars George C. Scott. Clive. Bad pants, correct. I didn't even get to pull Carl uh, yeah. Stephen Fraser spot on same time for a second. <laughs> Only just in the 1970s. Right. Question 8. Yeah. With an area of 743,330 square kilometres, or 287,000 square miles, this island has its highest point, Mount Kinabalu, with an elevation... Five. Borneo. Borneo. Correct. Good answer. Question 10. This American sitcom ran for 11 seasons between 1982 and 1993. After MASH, it is the second most watched finale of an event. Chris. Cheers. Yeah. So I uh, we closed. Should have gone in. I had it in the date. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
11. This nation has only ever had seven people represented at the swimming competition of the Olympic Games. This year, it was represented by one female swimmer, Johanna Umunguri, Umurungi, and one male, Eloy Imani Rangua. Michael. Equatorial Guinea? No. No, lose a point. <laughs> I, I wish I'd never wanted here to read this. <laughs> this country has never won a medal at the Summer Olympics, but in 2004, Jean de Dieu Nakundabera won bronze at the Paralympics in the men's 800 metre race, T46 category. Question for you. Sam. Gilly. No. Steve. Burundi. No. Simon. Comoros. No. Fraser. Nigeria. No. Chris. Togo. No, Togo. I have no idea. No idea, Clive. Leave him. That's it. It was mentioned earlier, Rwanda. Yeah, it was right next door to each other. They couldn't have been here. That's true. That's true. They're all right. Actually, I'm not doing quite well. Right, question 12. This rugby union club currently plays in the championship. They were formed in 1886 as a result of a merger between two clubs known as Rovers and Swifts. Internationals who have played for them include Martin Bayfield, Scott Murray, Jeff Probin, Paul Sackey and Rory Underwood. Clive. Leicester. Not Leicester. No, lose the point, Clive. Their <laughs> colours are light blue and dark blue. Their ground is called Godlington Road. Chris. Bedford. Bedford. Question 13. The idea for this open air regional museum came from the then director of the. Michael. Beamish. Beamish. Good answer, Michael. Right? I'm glad you did that. That's a long question. That's a long question. It's only open air one. Yeah, exactly. No, there's two. There's Aiden Croft in both just outside Birmingham. 14. <laughs> this town has produced a number of first class cricketers, including Harold Larwood and Bill Vogue. Simon. Works on. Lose a point, Simon. It is also home to one of only five women inducted into the ICC's Hall of Fame, Enid Bakewell, and to the Paralympian swimming brothers Oliver and Sam Hind. It is on the edge of the Erewash Valley which separates Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire. She finished. Steve. Redford. No. Fraser. New York. No. Michael. Alfreton. No. Five. That's three. Yeah. Sam. Thirty. Hmm? Thirty. Yeah. Is that it? Just. Chris. Right, you want to go? Workshop? No. Just said there. No. Workshop. I wanted to go for workshop. Kirby in Ashfield. Kirby in Ashfield. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal set. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go? Charlie's doing great. 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 Charlie's doing is a retelling of Cupid and Psyche, based on its telling in a chapter of the Golden Ass of Apuleius. This story had haunted Lewis all his life because he realised that some of the main characters' actions were illogical. As a consequence, his retelling of the story is characterised by a highly developed character, the narrator, with the reader being drawn into her reasoning and her emotions. This was his last novel and he considered it to be his most mature, written in conjunction with his wife, Joy David. Question for you. Steve. Out of the sound of the planet? No. Sam. Shadow. No. Five. Screw two letters. No. Simon. Surprised by Joy? No. Fraser. Silver chair? No. Mike. The last battle? No. Are you leaving Chris again? No. Nothing? Till no, we have Charles. faces. I've never heard of it. Sorry. Till we have faces. Go on, Charlie. I'm glad I'm not you doing this. Really right, um, question 16. This American writer wrote Gravity's Rainbow in 1905. Uh, Pinchin. Yeah. yeah. Pinchin. 17. This football club currently plays in Scottish League 2. They play home games at Gayfield Park. Simon. Arbroath. Arbroath. 
Eighteen. Which Scottish sports personality finished second in the 1963 BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award? Won a silver medal at the 1964 Olympics and in 2002 was inducted into the Scottish Sports Hall of Fame. Clive. McGregor. Yeah. Good answer. Ooh. Well done, Clive. Probably McGregor, the uh, Pick a favourite Scottish surname. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> 90. Name the small breed of horse that originates in Argentina and sell the pie. Falabella. And question 20. Which US president, born in 1882 in Dutchess County and buried in Hyde Park, said, First of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear. Sam. FDR. Oh, that, you've just. Well, that is tight and that tilt. Thank you very much. So we reset now. Thank you. We reset now. Final at Royalty, innit? Get in. <sighs> right, last tilt of the afternoon, gentlemen. Yeah, gentlemen. Tight at the top. 20 questions coming up. Best of luck. Question one. Which small town, 19 miles northeast of Leicester, is perhaps best known for a food stuff? Simon. Melton Mowbray. That's correct. You change your mind. <laughs> In total, at every US presidential election, there are six candidates who can take part. Name the full name of any of the four other than Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. Or any of them. Okay. Then he found this. No. You want the full name, not the surname. I, yeah, I think, I'll, I'll get you, I think I'll be, just give you the surname to be honest. McMullen's one. McMullen's is one. Yeah, <laughs> Steve, Steve McMullen. No, wait, it's Castle's one. Uh, Castle, yeah. Do you want to know the other two? Pence. No. Johnson. Uh, Johnson is one. Oh, and the last one. Oh, I'll let you off. You're off. Steve. Jill Steen for the Green Party. Are we set go? Yeah. Yep. The, uh, third question. This poet was born in America in 1885. In 1945 he was arrested for treason. Five. Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound. Nine. Right. Uh, Arabic is its official language with French and English being its second and third most popular. It lays claim to being the oldest site in the world of wine production with vineyards dating back to... Two Okay. Incorrect, lose a point. With vineyards so, dating Simon. Simon, sorry Simon. Syria. Incorrect, lose a point. With vineyards dating back to 2500 BC or possibly earlier. A famous actor nominated for the second most golden raspberries with five was born in this country. End of question. Sam. Egypt. In correct. Fraser. Lebanon. Lebanon? Yeah. Oh. Can I read? Can I read? Yeah, can I read? Yeah. Lebanon. <laughs> Number five. In 2003, who became the first black woman in the UK to sit in the cabinet? What year? 2003. Curtis. Diane Abbott. Incorrect. Five. Amos. It's correct. Baroness Amos. Well done. Nice. I've got to be careful, he's going to pick me for second place, this bugger here. Two points. Put seven in wrestling groceries. <laughs> no, it's no, it's finished. It's finished. Yeah. No, it's finished. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Number no. six. We'll have to be getting told off. Which word links a holiday company, an album by Bob Marley and the Whalers, and a 1960 Otto Preminger Five. Exodus. Exodus. You just... <laughs> Seven. This area of central London is found in the borough of Islington. This area is famed for watchmaking and watch repairs. Key. It's not Hatton Gardens. No, lose a point. Simon. Clerkenwell. Oh, good answer. Long answer. Um, it's nicknamed Little Italy in the 1850s. <laughs> Uh, historically associated with radicalism, Charles Darwin lived there when he lived and worked in London. Lenin uh, met Stalin there in the Crown and Anchor pub, uh, and the first gastro pub in England opened here. 
Number eight. Name the city where the Monster Rugby Union Club pay their majority. Curtis. Limerick. Limerick is correct. Two points. And so on and so on after that. Number nine. He is the mascot of the B&G Food Company. In 1999, he was rated in America as the country's third best advertising icon. Five. Johnny Green. Yeah. Oh, good answer, yeah. After Margaret Manning, Ronnie McDonald. He's going to beat me as well, this week. Yeah, bloody is. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Number 10. Following independence, which country's internet domain name went from .yu to .me? Uh, Ty, Clive and Michael, Ty. Montenegro. No, Montenegro. 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 Two correct. points to Clive. Yeah, two points to Clive. Nothing for, nothing for Michael. No. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Looking for a specific full name of a musical instrument here. Famous players of this musical instrument include Booker T. Jones, Steve Winwood. Okay. Hammond Oh, well done. Well done. And it is the first sound you hear on the white shade of pale white pro. Good answer. Good answer. Number 12. First played in 1860 and the last was played at Scarborough between the eight. Five. Cricket match, Shadow versus Players. Last played one. What? First played in 1860 and it was last played at Scarborough between the 8th and 11th of September 1962. The winning side was captained by Freddie Truman. What fixture is it? Question 13. This event in 1955 was preceded by a petition of 50,000 signatures being sent to the Home Secretary. Ah! Steve. Steve. Mass trespass on Kinder Scout. Lose, lose a point. Vince, you like that one, didn't you? <laughs> Following this, Raymond Chandler wrote, wrote a letter to the London Evening Standard describing the ad as medieval savagery. What was the event? Fraser. Is it hanging over the fellas? Good answer. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, hanging over the fellas. Well oh, come on, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> 78, I only got to 79. 14. Which shipping forecast area takes its name from that of the most northerly part of the island of Ireland? Skip. Malin. Malin's correct. The holiday was worth it. <laughs> 15. What was the name of the American actor born Aaron Shawott in 1919? Five. Red Button. <laughs> 16. Which creature from Greek mythology, first described in Homer's Iliad, shares its name? Did you play? Did you play? No. 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 Shares its name with a biological phenomenon that results from an organism developing from two of Simon. Shemira. Shemira is correct, Simon. Yeah. Uh, 17. Which surname links the captain of Burnley FC in this early 60s league championship? Clive. Adamson. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Jimmy Adamson. Yeah. Jimmy Adamson, uh, Peter Adamson, Joy and George Adamson, born for all looking for. Adamson's correct, yeah. Three questions left. Meaning high or a low in its native language, which soft drink was originally produced in Australia? Yeah. In 1903, had it been available in Britain since 1917? It is made by Atlantic Industries, a subsidy of Coca Cola. Michael. Michael. Incorrect. I've just finished question though. Curtis. Mountain Dew. No. Fraser. Kiora. Kiora. Yeah, Kiora. Maori. 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 I think that would throw though. Because Maori's in New Zealand, I think that's for a lot of people, that is anyway. Right? Still. 19. Question 19. Dan Hodges, often seen on news programmes. Is that five? Linda Jackson's son. Oh, well done. That's, that's good. There's a lot of swords in that. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Glenda Jack, the son, basically son of which former uh, actress and retired Labour MP. And the last question, what connects the football teams? St Mirren, St Johnson. Michael. Alex Ferguson. No, lose a point. 
Wraith Rovers, Ibernian, Queen of the South, Queen's Park, Simon. Simon. They're not named after the town or city that they play in. Wraith is Kakodi, St Johnston is Perth, St Mirren's Gre... Paisley. Queen of the South. Uh, Queen of the South, Queen's Park, and it's Arsenal, Arsenal, Queen's Park Rangers and Port Vale. You won't find them on the map of anywhere. Well, we'll give the prize away. In uh, third place for the money, uh, very credible performance from uh, Mark Preston. We didn't score very well in the last <laughs> tilt, but nevertheless, you get 10% of 140 quid, which is... For, for one is 14. 14 quid. Give him a little round no of applause, mind. please. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, you can't see him, there he is. 1-0. Uh, in second place, with a, a grand total of 70, blah, 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 76 points. Oh, the, 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 how close are we? And where are you? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Give a round of applause to Drax Steve. 28 pounds, yeah. 28 pounds. 28 pounds. Well in mate. Well, was that first time you are so the man. No, he, he wins every week. I won a third one. Oh okay. It's made it all worthwhile coming now, isn't it? Um, Get some more uh, cash This happens more often than it should do, given the handicapping system is meant to even people out. But a a magnificent double a for Mike, I mean, this makes things so interesting, given the overall scores, which I will put up in a minute after after this game, uh, you'll be able to see them. But that might mean that your man leapfrogs you again. He's won the net score, he's won the gross score. He is magnificent. He's our very own Mike Gunning. He's winning the medal on the All right. Let me hear a ho, 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 ho. There you go. Well done. Ho, 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 ho. What we're going to do now is uh, the film on next week. It won't be one of the official live speed quizzes. It will be uh, Michael McPartland's excellent wrestling special. Uh, you'll have to tune in to watch it. Don't forget Monday nights at 8:30. They're uh, coming up straight after University Challenge. So. Uh, yeah, if your friends like quizzes, ask them to join in and kind of watch these things. And by all means, please, please, please come and join in. These are great fun. These are good lads. We need some women though. So uh, come on down, ladies. We can, you can make coffee for us and you can <laughs> do all that shit. Oh, yeah. so, thank you very much. Welcome everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Oh, yeah.